Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MT Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming up with an entry point not found error on your Windows computer. So this can definitely be a frustrating issue and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. So first things first, you want to open up a web browser. Doesn't matter which one, but I'm going to open up Google Chrome for this tutorial. And I'm going to have a link in the description of the video to a Microsoft domain. I want you guys to copy from my description. And then go up to the top URL bar and paste it in. Should be greeted to a page that says Visual C++ Redistributable for Visual Studio. You want to go select the download button. Please note if you're running a 64-bit version of Windows, you want to select the first download the 64-bit one, otherwise if you're running a 32-bit download, otherwise if you're running a 32-bit system, you want to select the times 86 version, and then select Next. It shouldn't take too long to download, the download is only about 13-14 megabytes, so it should only take a few seconds. And once that is done downloading, you just want to open it up. So depending on what web browser you're using, it might look a little bit different. But you just want to click on it one time. You're going to get an open file notice here. Do you want to run this file? Select Run. You want to select Run. After you're done looking through the End User License term, and you want to agree to the terms and select Install. If you receive a User Account Control prompt, make sure Verify Publisher says Microsoft Corporation, and then left click on Yes. It will take a minute or two, so just be patient here. Click Take Less. Once it's done, just click on Close. Let's just restart your computer, and hopefully that should be about it. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.